Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to add multi language support to your Laravel application. So, here I have a simple application a menu, and uh, now I am in the login page. So, here I have two languages English and Arabic. So, if I change the language, now the page refreshes and the language or the page has changed. So, now the instead of English username and password, the Arabic words are now displayed. So, in this video, I am going to show you how you can add multi language support like this to your Laravel application. And this change is permanent. If I move around, if I go to a register page, as you can see, the, the words are still in, still in Arabic language. So, if I go back to login page, as you can see, it is still Arabic language. So, how do we can do this in Laravel? Let's get started. First, we need to add this menu to our application. Uh, so, how we can do this? Let's go to the Blade file. I have created a top menu for this a separate a component, and here the here is the code for uh, the choosing languages. So, for this, the code is here, and all we do here is um, just using the Jetstream dropdown. Uh, component and here we are passing the uh, languages that we have in the app uh, config app file so here we are looping through the config uh, app langs array and uh, displaying each one in the in the in the list and we are converting them to offer case str to offer uh, uh, converts the, the, the given string into offer case and uh, let's see what uh, is inside the app dot length so if i go to config config f dot php and here uh, here i have a array of languages so as you can see length array english and arabic so that's what we are looping through here and then we are just displaying and for the url we are using the Laravel method URL and then current it gives the current URL and uh, passes the argument length which is equal to the length which that is currently in this uh, variable length. So if I uh, inspect here, one should be for English and one should be for Arabic. So if I hover over this. Let's see. As you can see, login. Currently, I am in the login page, and here they are passing the argument lang equal to English. Now, if I choose this uh, to the Arabic, as you can see, for that the the argument is equal to lang equal to uh, Arabic language AR, and it is in the offer case. Str to offer converted this into offer case. Now from here we are choosing uh, this. So uh, what we are doing with this? We are just visiting the current URL with uh, and passing the length argument. So the magic happens in the middleware. If I go, I have a middleware name localization middleware where the I'm uh, checking and converting them to the whole language to whatever is passed in the URL. So here I am checking if there is any request with the lang variable. Then I am setting the cookie. I am storing uh, the lang variable in the cookie. I am using here the PHP function because uh, I tried Laravel, but uh, Laravel encrypt, encrypt, uh, encrypted the uh, the values of the cookie. So that's why I can't read it. That's why I use the PHP uh, PHP cookie system. So you can use a session as well, but uh, for for me in this case it does not work. So that's why I use cookie. I use um, whatever is the best case for you. Now here I pass the name as uh, lang lang, which is uh, I'm storing it in the in the cookie and the I'm storing the value of the lang as the uh, which whatever is passed in the uh, request lang. So as you can see here it is en or AR which is Arabic and English so we are passing those and this is the time for which it will be uh, still in the browser so this becomes uh, three days this is the domain which is forward slash it is not to, uh, it's just for uh, inform, informing that this is just a forward slash 
uh, domain and then i'm setting the variable length to the uh, whatever in the uh, whatever is in the la request length so it can be en or ar for english and arabic so and then if this is false then we are checking uh, if there is already a cookie available we already have stored uh, another link in the cookie so if uh, there is no link and, and there is a request for setting the language then uh, set the cookie and if there is uh, this big uh, this request become false then uh, this f else else if condition will execute and this will check where we have cookie for link or not if exist and set that to link and then we are setting the language here if the link variable is set it can be one of them can be true if none of them is true then we are setting the default which is english uh, i have said that the, in the config app as you can see locale is by default english so this will uh, be by default english and if any of these is uh, app configure if uh, the lang variable or config app language uh, becomes true this will this will set the uh, the language to whatever is passed in the url so that's how we are we are getting and controlling this uh, this request now then uh, where we uh, need to add this localization middleware so we need to add this in the kernel file so if i go to kernel.php app kernel app http kernel.php as you can see this is the url so here in the web middleware group i added that globally so this will be applied to all uh, urls or all requests in the uh, in the web.php in the routes file so this is for for routes now uh, in the blad files if i go to login.php to translate any text uh, to multi la multiple languages you need to add those texts in the underscore underscore method in laravel so you need to use this method uh, uh, and this will translate the text based on the in the on the language cited in the uh, app locale for so um, if you don't use this, this uh, laravel cannot convert this and cannot recognize this that convertible or translatable text so uh, you need to add this uh, if there is a possibility of the project go goes worldwide then you have to use this from the beginning otherwise this will uh, this will require a lot of work to convert every text and every file in every blade file in your project so if there is a possibility of uh, going the project uh, worldwide then you have to use from the beginning this uh, underscore underscore method so that's uh, this will recognize and convert this text to whatever is the app local link so here i'm uh, converting this username and password to uh, passing this to underscores methods and uh, this converts this and uh, for the for these messages show and hide the password shows and hides i'm converting this as well so that's uh, uh, that's how this blade file uh, this is what you, you need to do in the blade file and then you have to come uh, to connote all these in the underscore underscore uh, method and then you need to create a length file so inside uh, yeah, let's go to resources Langs and here you need to create a file that you, for the language that you want to convert. So here I'm uh, just converting this to uh, from English to Arabic. So here I created the ar.json file and this matches the app config. Uh, this ar and this is English and this is r. So this matches that. Now here you need to uh, convert all uh, all your English text into Arabic. So if I search for username it should exist here as you can see this is a uh, username in english and i'm translating that this is a json file so json file looks like this and then uh, convert all the text that are required to be converted into multiple languages so here as you can see the are just two languages but if there are other languages supported by the your application then you have to add those uh, into separate files like uh, if you your language support uh, uh, French is the new here to add uh, fr.json file uh, and so on and so forth so this is what you need to do then uh, you uh, and for translating all these text there's a 
a github repository available for this you can use that repository for for making your work easy uh, it has uh, a lot of languages already converted into multiple languages from english to multiple languages so you can use that one or you can create your own uh, your own uh, translate uh, translation file so after this if you go to login this will uh, convert these uh, these words so or you can add multi language support to your uh, laravel application so if i choose uh, arabic language as you can see the cookie has been set if i go to cookies here uh, cookies as you can see the lang uh, cookie is there and the content found there is ar so currently this is set to arabic so if i choose english this will store english in the cookie and will set the app locale to english if i see here as you can see it is in en so it is english and the variable and the name of the cookie is lang so we are checking that in the middle where localization localization here localization middleware we are checking it right here so that's how you can add multi-language support to lower your laravel application make sure to like and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one